Hello, hello, YouTube viewers. This is Blake Fannin. Folks, on the day that I made this video, last night, I did not put my iPad, iPhone, or PlayStation remote on charge. I usually do put my PlayStation remote on charge, but last night I was so sleepy that I didn't think of it. Well, well, I didn't know how low my PlayStation remote battery was, but, but, earlier this morning, I've been up since 5 minutes, almost 8 a.m. Earlier this morning, I started to play Minecraft, but then I thought I would take a break in and read the Bible. Well, not long after I did that, I had read a, f I had read a few chapters in, in Isaiah. And then, then my iPad showed low battery. Then I was going to move from my iPhone to my iPad. But I asked my iPhone what battery level was. Well, at that time, my iP my iPhone was at three percent, but now, but now, when I put my iPhone on charge, I went back to playing Minecraft and listening to the Book of Daniel. Well, well, not long after that, my PlayStation remote totally died. So now, so now, I've just been sitting here watching TV, waiting for one of them to get charged up enough so I could use them, and right now I'm making this video on my iPad, and my iPad's only at 5 or 6 percent. So, so, while I'm waiting here, I just asked the Lord, I said, I said, Lord, what can I do to to pass the time because it seems like time is just intentionally slowing down. Well, well, folks, he just clearly told me that this is a that this is a perfect chance to spend some time in prayer. So folks, I just had to pass this this wisdom on to you. Please let me know if this helps you, but never thank me. And to esteem them very highly in love for their work's sake, and be at peace among yourselves. Now we exhort you, brethren, warn them that are unruly. Comfort the feeble-minded, support the weak, be patient toward all men. See that none render evil for evil unto any man, but ever follow that which is good, both among yourselves and to all men. Rejoice evermore. Pray without ceasing. In pray without ceasing. In every rejoice evermore. Pray without ceasing. In everything give thanks. For well, this is the will. And Ezra the scribe stood upon a pulpit of wood, which they had made for the purpose. And beside him stood Mattithiah and Shema, and Aniah, and Urijah, and Hilkiah, and Maaseah, on his right hand, and on his left hand, Pideah, and Mishael, and Malchiah, and Hashem, and Hashbadana, Zechariah, and Meshulam. And Ezra opened the book in the sight of all the people, for he was above all the people. And when he opened it, all the people stood up, and Ezra blessed the Lord, the great God. And all the people answered, Amen! Amen! With lifting up their hands, and they bowed their heads and worshipped the Lord with their faces to the ground. Also Jeshua, and Bani, and Sherebiah, Jamin, Akab, Shabbatai, Hodijah, Maaseah, Kilita, Azariah, Josabad, Hanan, Peleah, and the Levites, caused the people to understand the law. And the people stood in their place. So they read in the book, in the law of God distinctly, and gave the sense 
and cause them to understand the reading. And Nehemiah, which is the Tirshatha, and Ezra the priest, the scribe, and the Levites that taught the people, said unto all the people, This day is holy unto the Lord your God. Mourn not, nor weep. For all the people wept when they heard the words of the law. Then he said unto them, Go your way, eat the fat, and drink the sweet, and send portions unto them for whom nothing is prepared. For this day is holy unto our Lord. Neither be ye sorry, for the joy of the Lord is your strength. So the Levites stilled all the people, saying, oh. Then he said unto them, Go your way, eat the fat, and drink the sweet, and send portions unto them for whom nothing is prepared. For this day is holy unto our Lord. Neither be ye sorry, for the joy of the Lord is your strength. So the Levites stilled all the people, saying, Hold your peace for the day. Now, now, folks, the reason I showed us Nehemiah 8 was because I have a history of cussing and sometimes crying and regularly complaining when I have to wait or when I don't get my own way. So, so as I was making this video, I just thought, hey, at times like this, when we have to wait for something to charge, times when you're waiting on something to charge, that is always a perfect, perfect time to ask the Lord to help you to stay happy. Because Mark 9 says all things are possible to those who believe. And, um, yeah, yeah. Philippians 4 says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And James chapter 1 says, If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God who giveth to all men liberally as long as you have faith. And Romans 10 says, Faith cometh by hearing, hearing by God's word. So because of so because of James one, Philippians four, and Mark nine, and Romans ten, whenever you have to wait for something or for anything to be done charging, that is a perfect time to read the Bible and pray to God and and the Bible passage that I have shown you in Nehemiah eight. That is a perfect time to pray, and that is a perfect time and reason to pray to be happy at all times. Because Mark 9 says all things are possible to those who believe. Philippians 4, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And James 1, if any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God who giveth to all men liberally, as long as you have faith. If you don't know how to be happy when you're not getting your own way or when something's bothering you, just read James 1, Romans 10, Mark 11, and Mark 9. And just ask the Lord to help you be happy at all times. If this video helped you at all, let me know, but never thank me. And also, I would really, really appreciate it if you would like share and subscribe thank you